السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر فرینڈس آئی ویلکم آل آف یو فار دا انوائرمنٹل کلاسز ٹوڈیز کلاسز فار دا ٹویلتھ اینڈ دا ٹاپک ڈیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک اپ از دا پلازما آک اور ٹارچ ڈیئر فرینڈس ہیومنس آر دا مشینس فار ٹرننگ دا ورلڈ ان ٹو ویسٹ ایٹ لیسٹ دیٹ دیٹ از ہاؤ اٹ سینس آن ایوریج ایوری سنگل پرسن ان دا یونائٹیڈ اسٹیٹس پروڈیوس اباؤٹ ٹو کے جیز of trash per day which adds up to three quarters of 10 per person each year what are we to do with all this junk recycling is one option but not everyone does it and there are lot of things such as electronic circuit boards made from multiple materials that can be easily broken down and turned into new things. That is why much of our waste goes where it is always gone, buried beneath the ground. But we are running out of the landfill space too. And that problem is bound to get to us. Another possibility is to incinerate waste. A tough It were a fuel. Though it were a fuel and we use it to produce energy. But incinerators are deeply unpopular with local <coughs> communities because of their air pollution they can produce. A new type of the waste treatment called plasma arc or recycling, referred as a plasma recycling, plasma gasification or gas plasma waste treatment, plasma waste recycling. and various other permutations of the word plasma gas. Arc waste and recycling aims to change all this. It involves heating the waste to super high temperatures to produce a gas that can be burned for the energy and rocky solid waste that can be used for building. Plasma arc or recycling does not involve combustion. Instead of simply burning the waste at a few hundred degrees, the waste is heated to much higher temperatures, thousands of degrees, so it melts and then vaporizes. This is done by an electric device known as plasma arc, which is a kind of super hot torch made by passing a gear, passing a electric spark think of the spark you get from the sparking plug in a car electricity feeds into the plug from the battery makes a lightning like a spark leaps across a small air gap between the two contacts and the spark ignites the fuel that powers your engine a plasma arc is a much bigger version of the same thing with a gas such as oxygen, nitrogen and or, or argon blowing it to create a kind of super hot plasma torch like a giant welding torch. The plasma arc in, arc in a waste plant heats the waste to temperatures anywhere from about 1000 centigrade to 15000 centigrade that is 1800 Fahrenheit to 27000 Fahrenheit but typically in the middle of that range melting waste and then turning it into vapor simple organic carbon based material cool back down into literally clean gas metals and other inorganic waste fuse together and form a back into a solid in this theory you end up with two products sun gas an energy rich mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen and a kind of rocky solid waste not unlike the chunks of broken glass the sand gas can be piped away and burned to make energy some of which can be used to fuel the plasma arc equipment while the vitrified vitrified rocky solid can be used as an aggregate for road building and other com constructions 
In the practice, the sand gas may be contaminated with the toxic gas such as dioxins that have to be scrubbed out and disposed of somehow, while the rocky and the solid may also contain some contaminated materials. Thank you, my dear friends, for watching me.